Hi, it's Chris, and I really should get back to cutting wood and splitting it for next winter. But I was thinking about the new 1800 watt Ryobi power station and how that you can't uh, charge it and use it at the same time. And I was wondering if it's a limitation of the 40 volt battery or if it's a limitation of the power station. So I'm gonna do some experiments and find out. For the test, I've carefully uh, connected wires to the plus and minus and the temperature one sensor. And I've also done it on the battery. And I've tied them together so that it goes over to my 40 volt adapter that goes in the uh, 300 watt pure sine wave inverter that runs a light bulb. And so we'll plug it in and see how it works. I plug the power brick in and you can see we're charging at 55 watts. And you can see that the charger is blinking green and that the battery's blinking green. I've turned the inverter on with a 200 watt light bulb and it's running. And you can see that it's still charging the battery at 52 watts and the adapter is still blinking and the battery is still charging. So to make this a little more permanent, I designed and 3D printed two adapters, one that acts like a battery and one acts like the tool uh, connector. To make this work, you need three wires, the plus, the minus, and the T1 sensor. Here are the two 3D adapters that I designed and printed. This one looks like a battery and this one accepts a battery. I'll put the designs over on the Prusa print site. So here's the setup that I have to test it. I've got the solar panel, it's 100 watt Renogy. I've got this MPPT charge controller. It's connected over to the Ryobi 40 volt battery charger. I've got my Ryobi 40 volt battery. Then I've got the 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. And then I've got a light that's being run by the inverter. You can see the 40 volt charger is charging and flashing. You can see the batteries flashing and charging. The inverter's on. You can't see the green light here, but. And you can see that the 250 watt bulb is lit. So the panel's at 15.3 volts. It's pulling 2.9, almost 3 amps from the panel. And the battery's at 39.4 volts. I put everything in a Harbor Freight ammo box. See the MC4 connectors that go to the solar panel the inverter, the battery, the charger, and the MPPT controller. Fortunately, this is not a pass-through charger in the truest sense. We're limited by the 60-watt charger. If your solar panels had more power, you would like it the extra to go to the load directly. I'm looking at ways to combine several of these into a larger system. Hopefully you found this information useful. Please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.